Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm in Salerno. It's just me in this video, um, but Frankie is inside. And as you can see, like the Amalfi Coast is like on that coastline, like further around uh, in this really beautiful area right now. And it's kind of like bed and breakfast place. I'll just show you the rest of the place. Pretty sick if you ask me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Getting all up in your business. Um, anyway, today we're trying some old Jamaica ginger beer. And it says here that it's since 1988, so it isn't very old, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like when you say like since something, it's like almost a century or if not over a century old. Um, yeah, we actually have this in Australia and actually does say produced in the UK. So again, it, it isn't Jamaican really either. Although the Jama it says the ginger root is from Jamaica. So maybe it is Jamaican. Um, I'm not putting it down because this table is boiling. Um, but yeah, I'm not wearing a shirt as well because it is boiling. Walked up like four or five flights of stairs to be here. Um, but like the room we're staying in is like right here, it's actually really nice. Um, yeah. Crack this bad boy open. It smells really gingery. And before I sip it, I want to say, um, I'll put a picture of it in. Actually, two things I want to say. Last night, Frank and I went to this uh, pizza place, and the pizza was really nice. But I got a beer, like a German beer, and it came in this, you'll see the picture of the glass. Didn't even realize the top of it was like a soccer ball, it was a sick glass. I do love it as well in other countries. They don't do this in Australia. When you order a specific like type of beer, they'll have a glass like dedicated to that type of beer. Like I'm sure it's a nightmare when you're like, cleaning up, grabbing all the glasses because you can't you can't stack them. But it's a treat for the customer for sure. Um, and the second thing I wanted to say just before I've been filming this, Frank and I were down like in Salerno and we had um, went to this really nice gelato place. But they had where you can get the brioche bun and then like two bits of like two different flavors of ice cream in it. That was, that was really good. I've actually seen it on Instagram before in other places and I tried it. And it does sound weird, like bread, like a bun kind of thing with ice cream inside, but it really does work. And the thing is, it's unbelievably filling. Um, yeah, it's almost like my, pretty much was my lunch. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Some old Jamaica ginger beer. It's pretty nice, pretty sweet. Um, no, it's pretty sweet, and at first there's a little bit of a gingery taste, not that strong, but it definitely, definitely has like a ginger bite afterwards, which I really like. Yeah, really good. I want to see if it says how much sugar is in it. I don't know. Very sweet, um, for sure. It's like definitely a syrupy taste. Um, it isn't too bad. It kind of counteracts like the kind of like harshness and like bite of the ginger. Um, overall a great drink, I do love ginger beer, and I think I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10, and the only reason I'm not giving it higher, um, no, it is quite good, um, is I prefer the John, is I prefer Bundaberg ginger beer. I think they've almost mastered the ginger beer for sure. Um, like it's not too sweet, this is definitely a little too sweet. Um, first of all, the bottle, the Bundaberg ginger beer comes in when you have a good tab to pull open the glass bottle, un unbeatable. Um, but the flavor, I feel like I've just mastered kind of the balance of ginger to sweetness. Um, but yeah, I definitely would try this. Uh, it's interesting. 